Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today in your average roofer, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a ridge cap on your roof. it's one of the most important but it's also one of the final steps of your roof uh, the reason I say it's most important is because when you finally get to the top of your roof this is your last layer your last layer of protection on your roof um, that stops water right at the very peak of your roof or on hips so when it comes to installing your capping what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to pay attention to your local area our local area has uh, prevailing winds from the southwest going to the northeast so that, that would mean that the wind comes from that side of the roof this way. So we always start at the opposite side of the prevailing winds and go in towards them. The reason for that is when I install them this way, the wind's gonna blow across the capping, not against the tar. If I was to go backwards, the wind is more likely to grab the capping and lift it up, peeling it off your roof. And that's definitely not something you want because that's going to cause your roof to leak note here is because I'm not installing ridge vent I actually put a box vent in this roof I overlap my shingles to the opposite side of the roof most guys will cut these off because they say it will hold your capping up I say to leave that on there because if your capping were to ever blow off it's an added layer of protection just personal preference you can cut it off if you want at the ridge but I recommend leaving it just for extra protection on your roof. So when it comes to installing your first capping, most guys will put their first cap and start going. What I like to do is cut the first cap so I can put this tar line on the gable end of my roof. So I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So I'll take this and I'm color cutting the color match side off of it. Like so. So this, keep it. For the end of your roof when you're finishing this is the piece you want you're going to put that on your gable end and the reason you're doing that is because when you put your next capping to start you can see now it has tar adhesion which will help it for any winds that may lift against that first cap so when it comes to capping your roof you cut your first one like i said you're going to go ahead i like to nail this one about an inch in from my gable end like so, pull it down nice and tight, and about an inch in, then you're gonna take your first full cap, right on top of that, making sure you're about 50-50 each side of the roof. You got 50% of your cap on this side and this side. If you're having trouble figuring that out, what you can do for your first cap is bend it, try not to crack this side if you crack this side what's going to happen is over time it's going to deteriorate even faster and it's no good for your roof because it's going to deteriorate faster than the rest and it's going to cause leaks right here on your gable end so you fold your first cap in half bending only the back side at your 50 percent now you can see i have 50 and 50 and it will sit perfectly on my ridge line. And now I know exactly where my first cap's gonna sit. And I can use that to gauge the rest of the way down the cap. Again, you're gonna put two nails. Just inside the tar line, on the tar line, just behind it. Don't go on the color match side, go on the dark side. Take the next one. And you're gonna do the same thing. nails and you're gonna do that all the way down the roof
Okay, so now you're getting to your last cap. You can see at the end of this cap that you just nailed into place is almost at the end of your roof. Your next cap, you're gonna wanna turn around and come backwards. But, like before, on the other end of the roof, I like to cut the color match side off, take my tar line, put that on the end of my roof, finding center, Again, nailing about an inch in. And now you can see I have tar on my gable end, which will stop any winds pulling against my last cap. And the shingle that I cut off, you can see, will now fit perfectly over each tar line. If it doesn't fit perfectly, if, it, if it's a little bit smaller, you can cut this smaller. And if it's obviously wider than what this is then you need to add another capping so now come up close here you can see i have a tar line here tar line here so gable end and this most guys will do this and they'll drive four nails into it you can do that or you could put four grommeted screws i've even seen guys take clear caulking completely smother the bottom of their shingle and press it into place. Always work. For this scenario, we're going to actually put nails just because it's most commonly seen on a roof. And when you're putting your nails in, you wanna make sure you do not overdrive them because if you do, water will penetrate. So with your last four nails here, you wanna be pretty light on the nailing. Even then, when you get to that point, I recommend you put some kind of self sealant on top, caulking, thermoplastic, whatever you got. But anyways, guys, that's your average roofer on how to cap your roof. For any more videos, any suggestions, be sure to comment down below. Remember, you don't have to be the best. It's all right to be average. Oh, I got one more video.